Have you ever sat down to learn something important, only to find your mind wandering off like a quantum particle, impossible to pin down in one place? What if I told you that one of the greatest physicists of all time had discovered the secret to mastering your attention in a world designed to steal it? Has this ever happened to you? You open your textbook or work document with the best intentions, only to find yourself, minutes later, scrolling through your phone without even remembering the conscious decision to pick it up. This isn't a character flaw or lack of willpower. It's physics at work. Richard Feynman, the Nobel Prize winning physicist known for his remarkable ability to explain complex concepts, would describe this as a battlefield of forces acting on your cognitive machinery. But before we begin, please hit the like button and let me know where in the world you're watching from today. It's always fascinating seeing who's joining us from around the world. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. In Feynman's view, Attention operates like any physical system subject to external forces. The modern digital landscape, with its notifications, endless feeds, and algorithms specifically engineered to exploit your neural pathways, creates a constant gravitational pull away from deep work. These aren't harmless distractions. They're reconfiguring the very gum circuitry of your brain, training it to seek immediate rewards rather than delayed gratification. What you're about to discover might surprise you. The attention crisis isn't just harming your productivity, it's fundamentally altering how you experience reality. Every time you allow yourself to be pulled away by a notification, you're reinforcing neural pathways that make sustained focus more difficult the next time. It's as if you're rewiring your brain's circuits with each distracted moment. But Feynman wouldn't just identify the problem, he'd provide an elegant solution grounded in the natural rhythms of cognition. Just as atoms vibrate at specific frequencies, your brain operates in optimal oscillation patterns. Through extensive experimentation, we've discovered the ideal cognitive wave function, 40 minutes of intense focus followed by 10 minutes of intentional rest. This isn't arbitrary. It's aligned with your brain's natural processing capabilities. Stay with me until the end, because we're going to explore exactly how to implement this rhythm in your daily life. Push beyond 40 minutes and you'll encounter cognitive fatigue, your neural resources depleted like an overworked muscle. Rest too long and you'll lose the momentum you've built. This delicate balance creates a sustainable attention pattern that can transform your ability to learn and create. The secret lies not just in understanding these forces, but in developing practical countermeasures. Feynman would approach this challenge like any good scientist, by controlling variables, measuring results, and refining techniques. What if you could apply this same methodical approach to your own attention and transform your mind into a precision instrument? If you're fascinated by these insights on deep focus and want more content that combines science with practical techniques, hit that subscribe button and join our community of deliberate thinkers. Now, I want to go even deeper into this topic by examining how Feynman approached the physical environment of learning. He understood that just as a laboratory experiment requires carefully controlled conditions, your mind needs a precisely engineered space to achieve extraordinary results. This hidden truth behind cognitive performance isn't about willpower. It's about creating the right conditions for transformation. Imagine your attention as a delicate quantum measurement. Any external interference can collapse the wave function of your Focus, that smartphone sitting beside you, it's not just a device, it's a constant signal to your subconscious that something more interesting might be happening elsewhere. The revolutionary approach isn't to silence it or turn it face down, it's to remove it entirely from your study space, creating a clean slate for your cognitive journey. 
The mindset shift happens when you start viewing your desk as a scientific instrument rather than just a surface. Every object in your visual field competes. And for neural resources, that stack of unrelated books, those bills waiting to be paid, even that decorative item you love, each one represents a tiny leak in your attention reservoir. The impact of a truly clean workspace with only the materials essential to your current task cannot be overstated. It's not minimalism for aesthetic purposes. It's precision engineering for your brain's processing power. But perhaps the most revelatory aspect of Feynman's approach is the practice of writing a clear question before each focus block. This isn't just a productivity hack. It's a fundamental recalibration of how your mind engages with information. By defining exactly what you want to understand, you create a gravitational center for your thoughts, pulling them back whenever they begin to drift. This single decision point can completely reshape your learning effectiveness. The profound insight behind Feynman's methods is that passive observation, simply reading or watching, yields surprisingly minimal results. The brain doesn't form strong neural connections unless you actively engage with material. Think of it as the difference between watching someone swim and actually getting in the water yourself. True learning requires you to take notes, ask questions, create examples, and explain concepts back to yourself, even when no one else is listening. This active processing creates multiple pathways to the same information in your neural network. When distracting thoughts inevitably arise, and they will, even for the most disciplined minds, don't fight against them. Instead, simply write them down on a separate piece of paper and return to your work. This seemingly simple technique performs a remarkable cognitive function. It assures your brain that the thought has been captured and doesn't need to be maintained in working memory. It's like telling your mind, I hear you, and we'll come back to this later. During your 10-minute rest periods, resist the temptation to reach for digital stimulation Instead, stand up, stretch, walk around, or simply gaze out a window. Physical movement sends oxygen to your brain while giving your neural networks time to consolidate what you've just learned. Behind the scenes, your mind is building connections between new information and existing knowledge, a process that digital distraction would disrupt. Write in the comments, I'm engineering my environment for focus. If you've recognized how your physical space might be, undermining your cognitive potential. Remember, the path to extraordinary mental performance begins with the deliberate design of both your external and internal landscapes. This brings us to what Feynman considered the most counterintuitive revelation about deep focus, one that challenges our fundamental understanding of freedom itself. Most people instinctively believe that discipline restricts them, that following a rigid structure somehow diminishes their autonomy. But here's the beautiful paradox that transformed Feynman's intellectual journey. True discipline actually creates freedom of thought. Consider how understanding the laws of physics doesn't constrain human potential. It's precisely this understanding that enables us to build rockets capable of escaping Earth's gravity. The same principle applies to your mind. When you develop the discipline to complete your focus blocks, even when you don't feel like it, you're not imprisoning yourself. You're liberating your cognitive abilities from the tyranny of impulse and momentary desire. Behind the scenes of every great intellectual breakthrough is this hidden truth. The disciplined mind experiences a form of freedom that the undisciplined mind can never access. While others remain enslaved to distractions, impulses, and fleeting emotions, the disciplined thinker gains sovereignty over their own attention. This isn't just a productivity technique. It's a profound mindset shift that ripples through every aspect of your life. The ultimate transformation occurs when your mind begins to respond to intention rather than impulse.
Imagine the power of deciding where your attention goes rather than having it pulled in a thousand directions by external forces. This is the genuine freedom that few people ever experience, yet it's available to anyone willing to embrace the counterintuitive path of disciplined thinking. Feynman's approach to learning wasn't built on random bursts of insight or sporadic motivation. It relied on a systematic methodology comparable to the scientific method itself. The most reliable scientific discoveries don't emerge from chaotic exploration, but from methodical investigation, and your cognitive development follows the same principle. This architectural approach to attention begins with a deceptively simple decision. Start small. Subscribe to this channel if you're ready to transform your relationship with focus and learning. Every video is designed to give you powerful mental tools that most people never discover. If today you can maintain complete focus for only 15 minutes, begin there. Tomorrow, extend to 20 minutes than 25. The size of each incremental step matters far less than the consistency of taking them. Your neural architecture responds not to the intensity of occasional effort, but to the persistence of regular practice, a neurological truth that applies whether you're learning quantum physics or a new language. For each session, define a specific goal. That's concrete enough to be measurable. Today, I will understand this concept or today I will solve these three problems. This creates a clear contract with yourself, and each time you honor that contract, something remarkable happens. Your brain begins to trust your intentions. The neural pathways associated with focus strengthen with each repetition, creating a compound effect where your ability to concentrate grows exponentially over time. The impact of this systematic approach becomes Evident when tasks that once seemed impossibly complex begin to feel natural and accessible. It's not that the material has changed, it's that your cognitive capabilities have fundamentally evolved through deliberate practice. Write in the comments, discipline equals freedom, if you're ready to embrace this powerful paradox in your own intellectual development. The journey toward mastery isn't about radical transformation, but about the accumulated power of daily decisions. As we reach this moment, in our exploration of the mind's incredible focus capabilities, I'm reminded of what Feynman himself often said about learning. What I cannot create, I do not understand. In many ways, that's what this journey toward deep focus is all about creating a new relationship with your attention, rather than simply understanding it intellectually. If you've resonated with these ideas, if you've found yourself nodding along or perhaps even feeling a surge of motivation to redesign your approach to learning, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel. Each week, we explore these fascinating intersections of psychology, productivity, and human potential always with practical applications you can implement immediately. I'd love to know that these ideas have found the right audience. If this message on focus and discipline feels personally meaningful to you, write, my mind is my instrument, in the comments below. It's a simple way for us to recognize each other as fellow travelers on this path toward cognitive mastery. If you found value in today's exploration, that like button is a small yet meaningful way to let me know these ideas connected with you. It also helps others discover this conversation about reclaiming their attention in a world designed to fragment it. For those curious to continue this journey, there's a video right here about applying these same principles to creative problem solving, something Feynman was legendarily good at. Click and join me there as we explore how a disciplined mind becomes the foundation for extraordinary creativity. After all, the most beautiful paradox may be that structure doesn't limit imagination, it unleashes it.